The cloth does indeed date back to the time of Christ and with artificial intelligence having something to say about the shroud as well. Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, and today we're diving into one of the most mind-bending discoveries of our time. The Shroud of Turin has been controversial for centuries. Some call it the burial cloth of Jesus Christ. Others dismiss it as a medieval fake, but artificial intelligence just changed the game completely. What it found hidden in this ancient fabric defies explanation. We're talking about mathematical patterns that medieval forgers couldn't have created. Technology that shouldn't exist in something potentially 2,000 years old. By the end of this video, you'll question everything you thought you knew about this mysterious cloth. So buckle up. This is going to be a wild ride. Three separate computers sit humming in a sterile laboratory. Their screens flicker with endless streams of data. For weeks, they've been analyzing the same mysterious cloth, the Shroud of Turin. Then at 3.47 a.m., something changes. Computer number one stops processing. Its screen fills with geometric patterns no human eye has ever seen. Computer number two begins mapping mathematical relationships that shouldn't exist in medieval fabric. Computer number three discovers information buried so deep in the cloth's fibers, it took artificial intelligence to find it. The lead scientist walks into the lab the next morning. She stares at the results. Her coffee cup slips from her hand and shatters on the floor. Let's start with the basics. The Shroud of Turin is a 14-foot-long linen cloth. On it you can see the faint image of a man. He appears to have been crucified. The wounds match perfectly with biblical descriptions of Christ's crucifixion. For believers, this is sacred. Physical proof of their faith. For skeptics, it's an elaborate hoax, a masterpiece of medieval deception. Here's what's crazy though. We've split the atom. We've decoded DNA. We've landed robots on Mars. But we still can't agree on a piece of fabric. Think about that for a second. The whole debate seemed settled in 1988. Three separate laboratories performed radiocarbon dating. Their verdict, the cloth was medieval, created sometime between 1260 and 1390 AD. Case closed, right, wrong, dead wrong. Here's where things get weird, really weird. In 1898, a photographer named Sekendo Pia took the first official photograph of the shroud. When he developed the film in his darkroom, his jaw hit the floor. The photographic negative revealed a stunning positive image, crystal clear, almost like a portrait. The shroud image was acting like a photographic negative, but photography wasn't invented until the 18. How could a medieval forger create a negative image centuries before anyone understood the concept? That's just the beginning. The image on the shroud is impossibly thin. We're talking about a few hundred nanometers deep. That's microscopic. A human hair is 80,000 nanometers thick. The color doesn't soak into the cloth like paint or dye wood. There are no brush strokes, no directionality. It's like the fibers themselves were chemically altered. Scientists have tried everything to replicate it. Hot statues, acid painting, dust transfers. They get close, but never quite there. Then came the 1970s. Researchers at the Air Force Academy had a NASA imaging device. It was designed to map planetary surfaces. They decided to test it on the shroud. What they found blew their minds. The shroud contained perfect three-dimensional information. The darker parts of the image corresponded to areas where the cloth was closer to a body. The lighter parts were farther away. They could generate a complete 3D relief map from a flat image. No painting has this property. No photograph works this way. Yet somehow, this ancient cloth contains precise spatial data. It's like having GPS coordinates embedded in a medieval tapestry. Scientists were stumped. They had a cloth that carbon dating said was medieval, but it contained technology that seemed centuries ahead of its time. It made no sense. Fast forward to today. Artificial intelligence has entered the game, and it didn't just join the conversation. It completely rewrote the rules. Researchers fed ultra-high resolution scans into powerful neural networks. These AIs had no preconceived notions about religion or history. Their job was simple, 
find patterns, any patterns. What they discovered is keeping scientists up at night. The AI found a hidden layer of information, complex geometric symmetries, mathematical ratios repeated across the entire image. This wasn't random, this was structured data. It's like finding a QR code hidden in the Mona Lisa, except this code is invisible to human eyes. Only artificial intelligence could detect it. But wait, didn't carbon dating prove this was medieval? Here's where the plot thickens. That 1988 test might have been completely wrong. The sample came from one corner of the shroud, the most handled corner, the most repaired corner. For centuries, people held the shroud up by its edges. It survived multiple fires. After a devastating fire in 1532, nuns patched and repaired the damaged areas. A chemist named Raymond Rogers got suspicious. He obtained leftover threads from the 1988 sample. Under a microscope, he made a shocking discovery. The sample fibers were different from the main cloth. They contained cotton, plant gum, even traces of dye. His conclusion was explosive. The sample wasn't from the original shroud at all. It was from a medieval patch, a repair job. Testing that sample was like dating a brick building by sampling the modern mortar. Of course, it would give you a recent date. Other scientists have since used different dating methods. Vibrational spectroscopy, X-ray analysis. These suggest the shroud is much older, some point to the first century AD, right around the time of Christ. But there's more. The AI detected repeating geometric patterns. Think of musical harmony. Certain notes sound pleasing because of their mathematical relationships. The shroud has geometric relationships between different body parts. The distance between the eyes, the proportions of the hands, the curvature of the ribs, they're all linked by an underlying mathematical structure. These patterns were invisible to human eyes, buried in the visual noise of ancient fabric, but the AI saw them clearly. To make sure this wasn't a glitch, researchers ran control tests. They fed the AI images of other ancient textiles, artistic renderings, paintings. The AI found nothing comparable. The geometric structure was unique to the shroud. The implications are staggering. This suggests the image wasn't formed by direct contact. Direct contact would create messy, distorted smudges. Instead, it seems formed by energy projecting information onto the cloth from a distance. Scientists have proposed various theories. The corona discharge theory suggests high voltage electrical fields around a body could create an image. Another theory involves intense radiation bursts, maybe ultraviolet light that scorched the image onto the linen fibers. The problem, experiments have never reproduced all the shroud's unique features. They might get the superficial nature right, but they fail to replicate the perfect 3D data and hidden geometry. We're dealing with a process that left behind something incredibly delicate, only nanometers deep, yet informationally robust, surviving for centuries without degradation. A physicist summarized it perfectly. This doesn't behave like an artifact. It behaves like a phenomenon. If it's a phenomenon, what kind of phenomenon are we dealing with? Here's what keeps scientists awake at night. If the shroud is medieval, how did a forger create something containing photographic negative properties before photography existed, perfect 3D spatial data before anyone understood such concepts, nanometer deep image formation beyond medieval capabilities, hidden mathematical codes only detectable by AI, geometric patterns following precise physical laws. It's like finding a smartphone in King Arthur's tomb. The technology doesn't match the timeline. But if the shroud is ancient, we face an even bigger mystery. What process could encode this level of sophisticated information into cloth? We're talking about spatial intelligence embedded in fabric fibers. The AI's findings suggest something extraordinary. The image formation appears to involve energy projection, not direct contact, not painting, not any known artistic technique. Something radiated information onto the cloth with mathematical precision, following physical laws we don't fully understand. The closer the cloth to the source, the more intense the effect. The farther away, the weaker the signal. 
This isn't speculation. This is what the data shows. The AI doesn't lie. It doesn't have preconceptions. It just analyzes patterns, and the patterns are impossible to ignore. Think about what this means. We might be looking at evidence of a process that transcends our current understanding of physics, a phenomenon that left behind a permanent record encoded in ancient linen. Scientists love to replicate things. If you can't recreate something, it raises questions about how it originally formed. The shroud has never been successfully replicated, not even close. Teams have tried everything, heated sculptures, chemical staining, radiation exposure, light projection. They've used medieval techniques, modern technology, cutting edge equipment, nothing works completely. They might achieve one or two properties, but never all of them simultaneously. The combination of features seems impossible to recreate artificially, yet there it is, sitting in a cathedral in Turin. The AI discovery makes replication even more challenging. Now forgers would need to embed invisible geometric codes, mathematical relationships only detectable by artificial intelligence. Good luck with that in medieval times. The AI discovery forces us to confront uncomfortable possibilities. Either we're dealing with a level of medieval sophistication that defies historical understanding, or we're looking at evidence of processes beyond our current scientific grasp. Neither option is comfortable for mainstream science. The first requires rewriting medieval history. The second suggests gaps in our understanding of physics and image formation. Some scientists are calling for new research approaches. Instead of trying to prove or disprove authenticity, why not focus on understanding the phenomenon itself? What process could create such an image? What laws of physics might explain the energy projection patterns? This represents a shift in thinking, from authentication to investigation, from proving to exploring. Here's what's really mind-blowing. The shroud appears to contain information technology, not mechanical technology. Information technology, data encoded in fabric. The image is essentially a data storage medium, like a biological hard drive. It contains spatial information, geometric relationships, mathematical codes, all preserved for centuries without degradation. This predates digital technology by hundreds or thousands of years, yet the AI can read it like a computer file. It's as if someone took a digital photograph and somehow embedded it in ancient cloth using processes we can't comprehend. Think about the implications. What other ancient artifacts might contain hidden information? What secrets might be locked in objects we've dismissed as primitive? The Shroud Discovery connects to larger questions about human history and technological development. Were our ancestors more sophisticated than we assumed? Did they possess knowledge or processes that were lost over time? Or are we looking at something else entirely? Evidence of phenomena that transcend normal historical and scientific boundaries. The AI doesn't care about religious beliefs or historical assumptions. It just processes data. And the data suggests something extraordinary happened. Something that left behind a permanent record encoded in ancient fabric. This challenges our understanding of what's possible, of what technology looked like in different eras of the relationship between science and mystery. Where does research go from here? The AI discovery opens new avenues for investigation. Scientists can now analyze other ancient textiles for hidden patterns. They can develop better imaging techniques. They can explore new theories about energy-based image formation. The geometric codes detected by AI might hold more secrets. What if they contain additional information we haven't decoded yet? What if they point to specific physical processes or natural laws? Future AI systems might find even more complex patterns, hidden layers within hidden layers. The shroud might be like an onion. Each technological advance reveals new mysteries beneath the surface. Of course, skeptics remain unconvinced. They argue the AI might be finding patterns that don't actually exist. Paridolia for artificial intelligence seeing faces in clouds, but with computers. Others suggest the geometric patterns could be coincidental, random arrangements that happen to appear mathematical. 
After all, if you look hard enough for patterns, you'll usually find them. But the control tests address these concerns. The AI found nothing comparable in other ancient textiles or artistic works. The patterns appear unique to the shroud. That's significant. This discovery challenges traditional scientific methodology. How do you study a one-off phenomenon? How do you apply controlled experiments to something that can't be replicated? The shroud forces scientists to adapt their approaches to embrace mystery as a starting point rather than an obstacle. To ask different kinds of questions, not just how old is it, but what process created it. This represents a evolution in scientific thinking from reductionism to exploration, from proving to wondering. So where does this leave us? The AI discovery doesn't solve the shroud mystery. It deepens it. We now have evidence of hidden information systems, mathematical codes, geometric patterns, energy projection processes. These findings transcend the authenticity debate. Whether medieval or ancient, the shroud contains technology that shouldn't exist, information encoding that defies easy explanation, processes that challenge our understanding of what's possible. The artificial intelligence has given us new eyes to see old mysteries, and what it sees is impossible to ignore. Hidden patterns, mathematical relationships, information systems embedded in ancient cloth. Scientists can't explain what AI found in the Shroud of Turin, but they can't dismiss it either. The data is too compelling, the patterns too precise, the implications too profound. But here's what nobody's talking about yet. This breakthrough opens floodgates to other ancient mysteries. Archaeological teams worldwide are dusting off artifacts that never made sense. Stone carvings with impossible precision. Metal alloys that shouldn't exist in ancient civilizations. Cave paintings with properties that defy conventional dating. Museums are quietly pulling items from storage. Objects labeled unexplained for decades. What if they contain similar codes? What if artificial intelligence can unlock secrets hiding in plain sight? The Vatican has gone silent on new research requests. Too many scientists want access now. Too many questions are being asked. The implications go far beyond one piece of cloth. Meanwhile, tech companies are developing specialized AI systems. Neural networks designed specifically for archaeological analysis. They're calling it temporal archaeology using artificial intelligence to peer through time itself. One researcher in Oxford made a chilling observation. We've been looking at history backwards. What if advanced civilizations existed and vanished? What if they left breadcrumbs we're only now learning to see? There's another angle that's keeping physicists awake. The energy projection theory suggests consciousness might leave physical traces, not in a mystical sense, in a measurable scientific sense. Quantum physicists have long suspected consciousness affects reality at the subatomic level. The observer effect proves measuring something changes its behavior. What if intense consciousness, extreme emotion, trauma, or transcendence can imprint itself on nearby matter? The shroud might represent the ultimate test case, a moment of unimaginable suffering or transformation leaving permanent traces. Information encoded not by technology, but by consciousness itself. What do you think? Are we looking at evidence of lost technology, unknown natural processes, or something else entirely? The AI has opened a door to new possibilities, new questions, new mysteries. Share your thoughts in the comments below. What do you make of these hidden patterns? How do you think they were created? And what other ancient mysteries might benefit from AI analysis? If you enjoyed diving into this mind-bending discovery, smash that like button. Subscribe for more explorations into the impossible. Ring the notification bell so you never miss our latest investigations. Until next time, keep questioning everything, keep exploring the impossible. The universe is far stranger and more wonderful than we ever imagined, and artificial intelligence is just beginning to show us how much we still don't understand. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.